Sports fans mark this day in their calendar every March because this is the day we find out who's going to be part of the craziness that ensues over the next three weeks. March Madness is upon us. Cassie Carlson has the info on the two teams from uh, Illinois who are going dancing. Yeah, Northwestern head coach Chris Collins said there's no better feeling than seeing your name come up on the selection show. And for the second time in program history, the Wildcats are going dancing. The Cats is seventh seed in the West region. A couple hundred fans join them for a team watch party. This is a Northwestern team that has already made history. The most top 25 wins in program history, knocking off a number one seed for the first time, finishing second in the Big Ten. Collins was there for their last run in 2017 and can draw on that experience, but playing in the Big Ten also prepared them for the tournament. Collins wants Northwestern to sustain the success and knows there's still work to be done. What type of team do we want to be? Do we want to be happy that we made it and, and we got in the field, or do we want to be hungry to try to win? And, and I think the teams that are successful in this tournament are the ones that go in with the mindset of, yeah, it's great to be here, but now let's let's win. Everybody doubted us before, so it may seem like a surprise to the world. So coming into the season, we had the utmost confidence and, you know, really nothing to, nothing, uh, to prove to anyone uh, except to ourselves. The job's still not finished, you know, and I feel like if we were to just be a giddy, happy team, we'd be doing, you know, everybody who's supporting us and ourselves a disservice. So it's a great feeling, it's a blessing, but, you know, we still got to go out there and win. The Wildcats will play 10 seed Boise State Thursday night in Sacramento. Winner of that game moves on to play the winner of number two UCLA and number 15 UNC Asheville. The Illini get the nine seed and play eight seed Arkansas in Des Moines. The last two years, Illinois has bowed out in the second round. And as Chris Collins said about Northwestern, they don't want to just be satisfied with making the tournament. They're ready to make some noise, Dane. All right, go Illini. Thanks, Kate.